All right, everyone, so I'm back from Maiden's Clock World again, and we have a package that came, which is my new clock. So today I'm going to unbox it, and I'm going to see if I can try and get it to work, because she said it did work. It's from Billings, Montana. So it's been from a far distance, and the clock, it is a wall clock, but so I don't know why the box is so big. That's why I didn't want, want to know. <laughs> Why is it? I'm trying to do it carefully. I don't want to cut too far in. Okay. Now, I didn't check if the glass was broken or anything. So, if the glass is broken, I'm definitely going to tell them that. At least it was $90 for shipping. Holy. She definitely packed it well because... One... Two, three, four. Dang, I'm really good at packing these things up. I guess that's the clock. And hopefully, hopefully the pendulum is inside of it. Oh my god. Alright, I'm down on the floor now. Let's see what clock it is. This is also a clock I've been wanting for a very, a while now. And it is a little bit on the rarer side because the company that makes this clock doesn't make it anymore. They definitely wrapped this up well, so if the glass is broken, I, I don't think it would be broken. And there's 10,000 layers of bubble wrap. Hopefully, she sent me the right one. Oh, I have it the wrong way up. All right, put it this way now. Oh. Holy wrapping paper. That's all I have to say. Oh, no, not wrapping paper, bubble wrap. Oh, we're getting closer. <laughs> oh, I see it. I never had this clock before. So, I feel the top of it. This is the top. Oh gosh. Now. They put like 10,000 layers of wrapping paper on it so I could feel the glass. It's so So, survive ship. I'm going to use this to help me carefully. Oh my goodness. It is good. Oh, it's a little dusty though. Oh, wow. They put... I don't know if you recognize what kind of clock this is. So, the first thing I see is right away, she put stuff over the glass to protect my, the glass. Ooh, wow. I'm going to carefully do this. How much bubble wrap is in here? And this must be the kind of one okay, I'm hoping. Oh, wait. Hold on. Can I go get something from the laundry room real quick? Sure. Okay, I'll be right back. And yep, I can see this is the pendulum. Oh, I hate how she did that, though. There's the pendulum, and you can see the key is taped on here, too, so... There's the pendulum, and I'm handling it with care because it's brass, and I don't want the material finish to come off. There's the key. It's a Howard Miller key. Now, the real thing is, I'm going to get all this out of here. Oh, let me open the back so I don't break it.
Oh my goodness. Stuff. Oh my. Mm, there's. Oh wow. They definitely packed this well. I hear, heard the chimes. I'm eager to hear them now. I want to hear them go off. I have not heard this clock chime since I've gotten it. As you just see, I it started ticking. So let's see if I can get the chimes to go. Let's open the front door. That's exactly how I wanted it to sound. Though one of those hammers can do with a little bit of an adjustment though. Eight o'clock. Very dusty, so I'm gonna clean the movement. That sounds really good. There you go. It is a Howard Miller Jordan. 613-226 model. I paid $227 for this. It was described as working condition. And I could see this clock was clean before. So really all I need to do is probably put it some oil on it to make sure it obviously works right and maybe i'm gonna clean these chimes off because they're very dusty and take a little wood polish and polish the case up of it but there you go this is a howard miller clock and it does work and i don't know if you could hear the ticking but it's ticking oh there's the grandfather clock. So the whole entire top piece and this, you see all the dust here. Oh wow, yeah. Dusty, yeah, it needs to be dusted, but this whole top piece with these columns is all attached to the door. So when you open the door, it's just attached to the clock case and body, so. And it is a heavy, it's not as heavy as the Sambringham. That's what the chime actually sounds like is the Sambringham chime, but it sounds much, to me, it sounds much clearer. And all the springs work apparently. Yep, all of them. So, so Connor's clocks, uh, Clock TV has this clock, and Clock Five Thousand have this this clock. So, I'm actually kind of like a little bit of friends with him because I always talk, I comment on his videos, so I say, oh, I like the chime on that one. So I actually have a couple clock of the same clocks that he has, and I got them from like a marketplace, eBay, and this one was advertised as it said it works in very excellent condition. Here's the pendulum. <coughs> again, like I said, even though it is working, I do want to take it apart and make sure I put some oil in it. And the first thing is I gotta figure out how to even get this apart. I don't even know how to take this apart, but pretty sure the clock, the cuckoo doctor will figure it out. Right, that's it. And um, yes, by the way, it did come with the little back piece. 
That was my Graham bracket clock from Howard Miller. All right. Take care.